Hello, Happy New Year's to all. It's your girl, Wake Up by Glow Glow Glam, and it's been a while since I have done a tutorial for you guys because I haven't been buying anything new, and yeah. So, I wanted to come to you guys today with this beautiful gift that my husband got me for Christmas. Yes, he got it for Christmas, and I'm just now showing it to you guys because I'm in the mood today. So, I wanted to show you guys what he got me, and here it goes. Let me try to back back. I feel like I'm too close. Can you guys see that? So, this is so beautiful. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So, this is from Hip.X. It's the Dia de los Mortos um, palette. Please don't knock me for my pronunciation. I should have got this right being that my husband is Hispanic. But my tongue just don't let me do what it needs to do when it comes to speaking Spanish, y'all. So excuse me. But um, it's the Tapatio Collector's Box. And this is how it looks. I love it. And so you pull this thing up and you open it. And this is what you get. So this is the pressed pigment and cream palette. These are the glitter sets. These are the lipsticks. And this is the beauty sponge. So we are going to do some swatches right now. Later on today, I will come back with a tutorial on these beautiful shades because I feel like playing in makeup today. So first, I'm going to start off by doing the pigment palette swatches first because that will take the longest. So here's the palette right out of the thing. It shows the colors on the back of the ingredients. And you take the swap out. And here's the palette. And we open it. Beautiful mirror. With this. Beautiful shades. Look at that green. That green caught my eye. That is so beautiful. So. And we are going to swatch this. So, as I can see in the palette, I have three glitter shades and two, four, six, eight matte shades. And these two are the cream, the cream shades. So, we are going to swatch. Let me get my glasses because I am as blind. I am as blind as a bat. Okay. So this shade right here is called Noche, which will make sense because it's a dark black. So we are going to go ahead and swatch Noche. So I'm going to swatch it with a makeup brush. And that is Noche. Okay. Next shade is Dia. Let me use my hand for Dia since it's a white cream base. And Noche and Dia is very creamy, you guys. Very, very creamy. So this is Dia. Okay, so we're going to do all the matte shades first. So the green one is called Katrina's. Katrina, Katrina's. Told you guys, my Spanish speaking is horrible. Next one is Angelitos. That's a pretty blue. Angelitos. Next shade is called 
papel picado papel picado it's a beautiful pink you guys see this okay I got some big old arms next shade is coral coral is very pretty oh I love coral look coral Corals, nice did you guys just hear my arm pop I am getting old I will be turning 40 this year I am getting real old next shade is called Vega which is orange which is my favorite color Vega I'm sorry that you guys are not seeing these very well let me do it upward there you go and last but not least of the matte shades is called Kalaka? Kalaka? Kalika? Kalaka? Oh, Jesus. I'm so bad. I know you guys are laughing at me. And my arm popped again. <laughs> now we're going to go into the glitter shades. First one is called Illumination Sun. Ooh, we. <laughs> and these are glitters that you would need to use with a uh, glitter gel to put on your eyes. Look how beautiful that is. The next shade is called Rosa. I can say that. I could say Rosa. This is Rosa. It's a beautiful pink. And last but not least, this is called Afrinda. Afrinda? Afrinda. We're going to put Afrinda right here. I'm doing it, Fuenda. I know I'm butchering your name. And it was that nice color of Fuenda. So these are the swatches. Let me get as close to the camera as I can. I know this is not the best swatch video. But I did my best. You would think being in a makeup game for a long time that I could do a proper swatch video. But I'm a little rusty. When you take time off, you get a little rusty. You really do. But I love these colors. They are very beautiful. They are very pigmented. Um, the only um, thing, um, the only shades that have the fallout is the glittery shades. But rather than that, the other shades, there's no fallout. Very pigmented. And I can't wait to try these babies in a look. So next, we're going to move into the glitters. Okay, so these glitters you can use for face and body painting. Um, there is no name at the bottom for any of them. Other than it's just saying glitter. So. You open it up and it has a little tab. Like a salt shaker. Tab. Uh, you definitely is going to need um, some um, lash glue for that. So I'm going to dip into this one. This one is like a... <sighs> Excuse me, you guys. I'm trying to... It's hard to pick up. Okay, so these glitters, they fall. 
because it's glitter. But, um, it's going to be hard to swatch this. But this one is pretty much like a black glitter. Black glitter um, with some purple mixed in with it. If you guys can see through here. Because there's no other way that I can swatch this because the glitter is just getting everywhere. And then the next one is like a silver glitter. And then the next one is um, it's like a copper, copper red, copper red with a little bit of orange glitter. Because these are going to be very hard to, to do. Glitter is just like everywhere right now. All over the place. Sorry about that, you guys. If you guys have any tips for me on swatching glitter, please drop them in the comments below. I would be happy to take your advice. So we're going to get right into the liquid lip lipstick shades. Look how cute they look. They look so cute. The deal look so cute. Oh. So, you need a magnifying glass just to see the name of this. And this one is, what is this one? Garita? Garita? So, we're going to try out Garita. I guess that's how you say it. So, we're going to try this one on. Okay. I got to take glasses off for this. I need an extra rare. Hold on. I like this one a lot. And let me try to say this name again. Carita, Carita. Which is this one. I like it. Very matty. Very matty. So the next shade we're going to try is called Flor, Flor de Muerto. We're going to try this one. So, let's speak about this one. This one, I love the shade because it's my favorite color, which is orange. But I do see myself wearing this with the lip liner, of course. And I also would use this color as an ombre shade with another color. But this is what it looks like on me. And this one is very, very matty, um, more mattier than the first one that I put on, and um, it dries very, very quick, so you have to be fast with it. So, this one again is called uh, Flor, de, Flor de Muerte. Okay, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one, not even going to butcher it, but it's a pink shade, so we're going to try this. Oh my god, I'm just so bad with pronunciation. Not as matty as the first two shades. It goes on very silky. And then it's matte. But I like this. Don't worry, everything that I'm swatching today on this tutorial, I'll put it down below in the description um, area so you guys can see the names of everything that I have swatched today. And once again, I'm sorry about the pronunciation of things. So, I really like this one. This one is called La Noche del... Dueblo. So we're going to try this one. Ooh. And we get a moment of silence for this shade. This shade is my absolutely favorite out of the bunch. It's matty, but it goes on silky and smooth, just like the one that I just tried on, the pink one. I live for this color i love reds don't get me wrong the first red was good but this is this is more my speed i love this one so 
let me just give you my pros and cons on the liquid lippies. So I will say that I um, do love the shades. Um, my favorite one is this one. Um, the first two was very, very matty. If you don't put it on real quick, it would mat up so quick. Um, and I didn't like how it was um, getting dry so quick and I felt like it was crumbling when I went back in to put more shade on um, my lips. And um, it is very hard to take it off. So if you wear these lip beads from this collection, you need to have this because this is going to take it off or something stronger than this, okay? You can't just take it off with soap and water. I mean, this sticks, like sticks like glue. Um, the shadows, I love the palette. I love every shade that is in the palette. I can't wait to play around with it and to create a look. Hopefully, I'll have time to do that today. I do apologize that I wasn't able to do the glitter shades because I've um, never really did glitter shades as a swatch, uh, being that they are loose powder, uh, loose, uh, loose glitter. Uh, so like I was saying, if you guys have any tips on how to do swatches on that, please leave um, your tips and advice in the comments below. But this um, comes to the end of my swatch tutorial for the Hip Dot Tapatio um, collection. So please like, follow, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of how I did on this video from 1 to 10. And I will try to come to you guys more often with um, tutorials. So you guys have a blessed and wonderful Tuesday. And just be blessed. And until next time, it's your girl, Makeup by Glow Glow Glam, signing off. Bye, you guys.